quite a small place, lacking even the most basic equipment. The present may yield no clues, but we may yet try perusing the past. Have you done this before? So you cannot control the power freely. Worry not. I shall assist you. Come and stand before me. There are two ways to see the past. The first entails peering through the walls of the soul in the moment a subject is recalling a memory. The second requires no subject, and is instead a process of piecing together an event from ripples left in the ambient ether. As memories are etched upon the ether of the soul, so too are they etched upon the ether of the world. In this way can history be preserved. Such memories are given to fading, however, and can prove challenging to visit. But come, let us try. Close your eyes. All units fully functional and proceeding on course towards their respective stars. Estimated time to completion of survey is 108 cycles. End of status report. Severing connection with shared consciousness. Did you hear that, Hermes? All is well. Ah. <sighs> yes. Good tidings at long last. Every step of the way, I've been reminded how little we understand creation. How the universe defies imagination. But soon we won't need to... speculate. We'll know the answers. What others live for. <laughs> Indeed. And we'll owe it all to you and your sisters. I wonder what answers we will get. Whatever intelligent beings that exist out there are bound to be vastly different from us. Diverse in form and culture, possessed of unique ways of thinking. Their conception of life and its purpose will be no exception. Completely and utterly unlike ours. Unlike how? <laughs> I have no idea. Yet, whatever answers we receive, I will not dismiss them out of hand. No, I will think earnestly on them all, and I will share them with our people that together we may contemplate our own existence. Perhaps then our star will become a better place. Not only for man, but for all life. Meteon, as though I gave you wings to soar the heavens, I did not teach you how to walk the earth. So loath was I to bind another living being. In the course of your long journey, you will learn from those you meet. Learn to walk and run and so much more. And when you return, older and wiser, we will have a celebration to mark your homecoming and coming of age both. Will there be apples covered in syrup? <laughs> and how are you supposed to eat them? Hmm. Rather than food, Perhaps... Ah. 
A flower. Yes. Upon your return, I will gift you a beautiful flower. So, what is your opinion? As you say, that was hardly conclusive. Yet, based on what we witnessed, I find it difficult to believe that they would deliberately seek to end all life. Be that as it may, we cannot rule out the possibility that they will play a part in bringing about the final days, perhaps unwittingly. In light of this, I propose that we reveal your tale to Hermes himself. If he does not wish for the final days as we believe, he may well join us in pursuing a solution. Then it is settled. Let us seek out our friend with all swiftness. It would not do to let such a pure soul be blackened by tragedy.